All right. This is a big ass Marauders team. They are not buffed with, uh, you know, flex. That's what they're called. So, uh, 2k difference here, so not a whole lot, but they have a 100k Sabertooth, which is a lot of power in one character. Um, I know my War Machine is pretty big, 87k, so it's kind of comparable. Um, that's a little Deadpool, you know, but that's okay. He is a mutant, so he will benefit from all the mutant stuff. And then I don't know how Mystique is going to play. Uh, she does like stealing buffs, and she's very fast, so she could be very annoying and ruin the party. I don't know. Um, I know Strife is going to taunt early, and that's, I, I don't know how I'm going to get around all this, but I'm just giving this a try because, again, this is a vacation war for us, a warcation, if you will. And I am trying to test things, high punch-ups, really seeing what I can do because I want to know, you know, can I you know, do certain things in, in later wars, right? So I just gave offense down and plead to Falcon. Thanks a lot, Vision. Great job. Um, didn't do a whole lot of damage, though, thankfully. And I'm thinking I want to ability block Strife because his next turn will be to apply ability block to me. However, he has deflect three, which means he's going to block the next attack, which means it reduces the chance of landing ability block. But I don't really have a choice here. Um, Mystique started with evade, so that sucks too. Um, so the ability block will not hit her. So she's going to do her little uh, gymnastics dance thing. Uh, as you can see there, it failed. Um, we do get a 10% bonus on speed thanks to his buffs. So we're just going to remove those deflects. And I guess we'll just give him offense down, because why not? We get rid of her fade. That's fine. I probably should have just done the vision basic and save the ability block for turn two. Now let's see who they choose to. Oh, god damn it. Fuck! <laughs> okay, well. That's uh, aggravating. Alright, we're gonna use the vision alt to hopefully clear some buffs here. Now oh, that worked pretty good. Didn't get rid of her defense up. Still didn't get rid of this taunt. Uh, how much health does Strife have in this? He's got five reds, five gold, and a 200k health. Wow, that is really high. That's the biggest Strife I've seen so far. Sinister is at 220k. Uh, Sabertooth is at 324. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, blast him down, actually. Uh, this is going to be tough. Um, there's 50k. And then, um, let's see. I'm thinking... We're going to try to get Sinister down low. Ah, oh, I was hoping to get him in the yellow so we could target him next, but uh, that's okay. This should do a lot of damage, but I don't think it's going to do enough with the offense. Uh, oh. oh. Okay. Well, all right. I guess, you know. That was, that was good. That was, that was a nice job, War Machine. That's that some, uh, <laughs> some good fire. It's a uh, blast of 100k. Offense up ult from... Uh, What's his face? Uh, Iron Man. So there we go. And then there we go again. Well, that wasn't so bad. Um, that worked pretty good. Um, I was really concerned there. I didn't think I would have the damage. I thought I'd have these guys in the red, but uh, I didn't think I would kill them all necessarily. I mean, Mystique was like the lowest. There. I think she was 198k, and uh, I, I believe that's all reflective of Sinister's passive as well. I think he provides a decent amount of health to Marauders, so uh, I think that's why it was so high. I think those were the, the actual numbers. It's not like from before, a few months ago, when the numbers weren't exact and they didn't reflect Stark deck or other bonuses, and it was a real pain to try to figure out where people were actually as far as power and uh, health goes. So that worked out pretty well. Um, a little bit unexpected there. Uh, it was a fairly similar powered team across the board. Um, and they cloned Rescue. So I do wonder, so there are a couple of caveats here. Um, since my team doesn't have a taunt, I can't guarantee who uh, Sinister is going to clone. And so, it, there are some he could have cloned that would have been way worse. So the first one is Vision. So if Vision 
goes first uh, with his ult, he's going to remove a whole bunch of buffs, right? He also has dodge capability, which means I could miss him with some of those attacks, and then he follows up with an ability block on his next turn, and so that could be a really annoying. If they clone War Machine, uh, well, he's going to at least, uh, you know, he's going to use his ult, but he's not going to have the hero bonuses because there's four villains on that team, so uh, he only gets one bonus from Deadpool there, and it really just depends on who they have on the team as to whether or not it does more damage. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty bad. Um, I guess rescue wasn't too bad because my vision was able to remove the buffs. Um, but if they had more resistance, that might have been more of a problem. So it just kind of depends. And then uh, had she gotten a second turn using her um, regen and uh, barrier and everything, it just makes it harder to take people down. So if they can survive a little bit longer and get that sinister heal off to kind of heal up the marauders, uh, that could be problematic too. Um, I really think this team would be better off with somebody other than uh, maybe a Deadpool. Uh, had they had somebody like, I don't know, I wonder if Kingpin would work well with them. Just getting that two-turn defense up and the offense up might be really powerful. Uh, but there's uh, definitely better options for a fifth than Deadpool. I don't think the mute synergy warrants having a Deadpool in there unless he's really big. Um, I think you're better off with uh, something else to just protect Sinister and... Uh, Mystique and, and Sabretooth and let them kind of deal the damage and do other things. So, Pretty cool though. I'm, I'm happy to see that my power armor did not get wrecked. Uh, I do love power armor. They are my favorite war team as you can tell because they are my biggest team. So I've spent a lot on them. They have a lot of red stars and uh, basically all my tech gear. So, you know. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, not a bad fight. Just uh yeah, could it could have definitely gone a lot of different ways there, depending on who they clone. So, there is a bit of luck to it, but there always will be with Sinister, unless you take in a tank and can guarantee that he will be taunting when Sinister uses his ult.